โอ้รูจัลมัน Hey hold up guys I think I found something I believe this monolith marks the entrance to an ancient Thori shrine What's a Thori The Thori were mythical beings described in the oldest underland folk tales Archaeologists believe they were ancestral deities of the underland Let's see what else there is to discover on this mural. So who is the big guy? I believe that figure symbolizes one of the Thori. I can't tell which one it is, but judging from what I popular. If we could just remove some of the vines, I should be able to decipher the runes with the help of Kanan Dodo's book. Good idea. What's your need? Well, I think Kito has the machete, but where did he go? <laughs> hey, Buona! Check this out! I'll be right there, buddy. Don't! <laughs> Oops! I forgot I put the cacti in there. <laughs> I told you that was a bad idea. Cacti rule. It's the journal of the journey down. That old book has really been through a lot. So, who are all those little guys? The Thori were revered spirits of the underland, often depicted in human or animal form. Together, they maintained the balance of nature and guided the living and ancestral spirits through life. I spent countless hours studying these legends back at the university in Saint Armando. That is Marushaka. The Thori of the Marushaka River, said to rule all living things in the water. Oh, and be careful! If the caves ahead have been used for sacrifice to the Thori, the sacred chamber is probably well guarded. The journal specifically mentions traps in a complex series of. Okay, Kevin, gotcha. Check it up there, man! Hmm, must be remnants from some old expedition. I wonder if Count Andodo was here. Oh man, it's empty! Cool glowing mushrooms! Looks like they're somehow living off of the hot air coming from below. Kito, I need that machete. Come down from there. <laughs> no way, Mon. Check it out. I'm flying. Time to come down from there, man. <laughs> I knew the cacti would come in handy one day. You okay, man? <laughs> Not a scratch. Good. You still got the machete? Sure, man. Thanks, Kito. Man, that ain't gonna work. We would not have come this far without this machete. Good thing Lena brought it with her from Port Achu. Make way for Buana's archaeological adventures. It, it can't be. Can't be what? This must be the tomb of Niakazo. Who? Niakazo. According to myth, he was an immensely powerful Thori king whose evil reign drained the underland of all life, even causing the great Asili tree to wither. I believe this monolith is some sort of warning. A warning left for us. Oh, maybe we should have read it before we went inside. Well. 
There's no point looking back now. We have to find another way out of here. Don't worry, Lina. I'm working on it. Great. Ah, these vines might come in handy. Nice, strong vines. Man, that ain't gonna work. I don't think... Uh, I'm not sure what we're trying. Maybe it opens a door or something. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's some kind of booby trap, man. <laughs> you chicken, Buana? Something tells me I'm gonna regret this. That was close. Oh, check this out, Keto. This place is crazy, man! This has got to be that near Kazo guy that Lina was talking about! Looks like there used to be some kind of artifact on this pedestal. But whoever came here ahead of us must have taken it with them. It's probably another booby trap! Your chicken? Oh, come on, man! <laughs> I'm not cheeking. Come on, press it! What are you crazy, Moon? Chicken. No. Chicken, 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 chicken! Oops. <laughs> It bent all the hair off my head. Man, you haven't had hair since we were kids. <laughs> I think I better just lay low for a while anyways. That was a pretty close call, Mon. I can't reach it from here. We would not have come this far. Good thing Lena brought... I can't reach it from here. Man, that ain't gonna work. I don't think that's gonna fly, man. Hey, Lena, guess what I found? I'm guessing a booby trap. <laughs> yeah, how'd you know? You just destroyed the only way back to the mountainside. And I think the entire cave is collapsing into the lava stream. We need to find another way out. Good idea. Kito and I will figure something out. Where are we now? We're in the caves of Kueyurumoshi, some 200 miles from the Hatari Reef. According to the maps, these caves are the only passage that can take us through to the Marushaka River. It is only thanks to your father, Captain Kaunin Dodo, and the incredible book he left behind, that we can navigate through the Underland. Good thing he wrote down all those notes during his early expedition. Yes. Without his book, we'd be completely lost down here, and it'd be impossible to decipher these ancient writings. Somehow, I'm certain that the Journal of the Journey Down has got something to do with Kaunin Dodo's disappearance. There must be something of incredible value hidden within the pages of this book. Why else would the power company go to such great lengths to find it? Ma 
Ana Len. Ay, Dolce. These mushrooms must be full of... Ah, I love my old... <laughs> I think that's enough balloon. Hey, you doing okay, Kito? <laughs> All good here, Buana. Just a little short for the fire, but doing good. <laughs> 